Thank Speaking you, of paintball on TV, <laughs> not just behind the bunker, but Danger Man made it on TV this week. He was trying to set the world he record did. for catching paintballs. Um, he was on, I apologize, I don't know the channel. I think it was True TV. Yes. Uh, Matt, you got a, a snapshot of that. We're going to talk to Danger Man a little bit later in the program and find out how he did and about his experience of being on TV. Um, yeah, probably one of the biggest productions uh, of paintball on uh, that I know of anyone that's been on. So that's great. Sideburns. <laughs> what sideburns? The tornadoes going down the side of his cheek. Oh. <laughs> Those uh, are danger burns. <laughs> danger burns. <laughs> That's Very awesome. Nice. Patent pending. Now, we teased it last week. We showed you um, a video from uh, Danger Man. Mm -hmm. He went on to TV to try to break the Guinness Book of World's Record for the amount of paintballs caught within two minutes. Um, now that it's been aired and it's been, uh, it, it's been on TV, let's get him on Skype and let's find out how he made out. Um, Mr. Danger Man, are you there, sir? I, I is. I is are here. Ah, very good. So we uh, we haven't had a chance to uh, to see the show. Um, can you tell us real quick how that turned out for you? Were you able to make the uh, make the record? And, and even before you do that, what was the record to actually get to? The, the record was twenty eight. It was set by a gentleman uh, named by the last name of Kelly down in uh, Australia, and he was a black belt. And he uh, he he accomplished this uh, a few years ago. Very cool. Very cool. So. It was, and that was within two minutes. Two minute time frame, yes. Okay, very I, good. I, I think originally he went for one minute, but then the Guinness kind of modified things. Okay, was that anything fishy? Was it European minutes or Imperial minutes? Um, I, I do believe. Um, actually, it was parsecs, but we've just kind of converted things that came out. From <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Now, when you take the exchange rate with the euro compared to the American dollar, what do you get? Um, well, I came up with the same answer as whenever. Well, the, the, well, I came up with the same answer as essentially that if you put on new kings and kingpins and tie rods, you do in fact need a complete wheel alignment. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Um, what is the weight of a swallow? <laughs> What's your favorite color? Just kidding. Carry uh, on. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, by now, the way, it's Val, by the way, it's Valcan. Uh, no, in Can it's Vulcan. Uh, um, Gino's going to send uh, Guido over and better step <laughs> bring him on. Very good. So now is it now? Did anything have to change differently when you did this in America? Because in obviously in Australia, the paintballs would have <laughs> would have spun the opposite direction. Yes. Um. The the, the gravity. The, there was a. It's kind of like with the uh, the apex barrel. The ball. All right, seriously. Um, <laughs> happened, All right, so, so 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 let's get you. Up. We asked you on the show because we wanted to how, you to tell us about your experience. How did how did things go for you? Uh, ultimately, I did not succeed. I caught twenty one. Okay, and the record was again twenty eight. Twenty eight. Ouch. Now was that because was that because you you missed a couple, or was that because the 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 person that was shooting the gun was shooting slower than the other guys? How, how, what do you think was the was the underlying issue? Oh, uh, I just suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you yeah, heard it here, folks. Okay, now uh, um, can we just clarify that statement? You sucked what? The, um, Balls? the, the problem was that I I, oh. <laughs> 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 I took Karatek paintballs with me by accident. Uh, <laughs> there you yeah. go. Broke too actually, easy. <laughs> yeah, ga actually, Gavin, I did get your cease and desist order from your legal department for my snot-based paintballs. Uh, so the new snot shot, but uh, apparently. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to be able to use. Oh, those we're not interested. Again. We are not interested um, at all. Do you know that they're bringing out a? Do you know that they're bringing out a snot shot around Halloween? It's called the, the boogie boogie, <laughs> booger man. <laughs> the the reason. Man. Uh, All the right. Reason, the reason I did not catch more than I should have uh, to set the record was because essentially I, I chose the wrong grade of paint. I used a higher quality paintball and it was brittle. Uh, and the gentleman who caught the, the, them back in the day was catching paintballs that were of a different grade. Uh, in practice, we were doing 40 to 50. And I am going to put another video up, back up on YouTube showing, demonstrating that I can in fact catch more than the world. Well, let's they just put have the a redemption show next year, and I do believe they want me back. Oh, good. Let's just put this out there. Uh, next time you do it, bring yourself mm -hmm. three cases of Monster Ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're guaranteed they're not going to break. I, just I, hold your T-shirt open and catch them all. <laughs> but what? Yeah, got, but, I, I had so many people, you know, quoting the Monster Ball thing. So yeah, you're right. You're right. That on. I mean, if you change the grade of paint, it does change the ability to catch a paintball. But 
I wanted to do it right in terms of how the paintball community would have respected me, and that's, you know, I'm sure. proud of what happened. I have a question. Did you say go for Joe, Danger Man? Yes. Um, thank you. Um, ha- do you think with everything being equal, using the same quality of paintball as the fellow in Australia and the same speed of fire, do you think you could have surpassed his record? I, I, I think I've already done it. And yeah, so the answer is yes. Very good. Well, we like to see a video. Send us a video of you trying again. And then definitely, if you uh, are getting back on TV, let us know. Um, Absolutely. I, I now, will have the uh, the episode of um, Guinness is a gr- the, the producers are sh- sending me a copy of the show. I will put that on my channel for everybody to see the very good. failure. Very good. And very good. Um, and I'll also put a subsequent video up with me in a two minute time frame, uh, catching more than enough. And, uh, you know, in time, it'll go from there. Very I mean, good. It, and it's not what I want to be remembered for in life, but uh, this is a fun experience. Very good. Very, very good. good. Very good. All right. Well, my sponsor is telling me that we need to go. Um, so, Danger, thank you very much. We'll see you on December 14th at OXCC and check out Danger Man XX on YouTube. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. good. Thank you, sir. We'll talk to you later in the program. Uh, it's too much for any man. <laughs>